Words cannot well express how glad I am to see you return to us hale and whole. Needless to say, I am most eager to hear your account of that which occurred in Curthis, assuming you're ready to speak of it. Excellent. I shall summon the others at once. Ice Heart used her own body as a vessel for a primal soul? Master Louis Soir's writings make no mention of such a possibility. Can we be certain this entity was a primal? As certain as we can be that good King Mogulmog the Twelfth was a primal, I should think. Both were ostensibly summoned. Let's not quibble over definitions. Of more concern is the implication that Iceheart retained her will, even after she was possessed. We are talking about a mortal, wielding the power of a primal. It can't possibly be that easy, can it? There must be some sort of sacrifice required. Or maybe she's just special? What qualities this woman possesseth, I know not. But full sure am I that she was groomed for this role. Few are privy to the secrets of summoning, and but a single party standeth to profit from their dissemination. Well, I wouldn't presume to comment on how the last came to know about summoning, but I will say that what she summoned was a primal. The readings were the same, or near as damn it. Strange as it all sounds, it's really no different from what you've faced before. Then mayhap it is time that we re-examined our previous encounters. Oh, pack your things, Ida. We're going back to Gridania. Yes, sir! About Iceheart's final words to you. Hear. Feel. Think. Hydaelyn speaks to her as well. If Iceheart is blessed with the power of the Echo, she will doubtless have used it to further her goals. Or could it be that it was a revelation granted her by the Echo which first set her on this path? She did say that the Ishgardians were blind to the truth. Do you think she has knowledge of the origins of the Ishgardian Dravanian War? It would do much to explain her unwavering conviction. Did not the Lady Iceheart implore thee to seek the Keeper of the Lake? And did she not imply that in so doing thou wouldst come to see with eyes unclouded? Midgard Zoma was a king amongst kings who reigned for centuries on end. But he is dead and his wisdom lost to the ages. Unless the Ishgardian's fears are well founded. It would seem we have yet another reason to stand watch over the Keeper of the Lake. For a mercy, we are well positioned to do so. Iceheart, Shiva, Asians, and Midgard Zoma. I shudder to think how they're all connected.